What does being lighthearted mean to you? What does the word light mean to you and hearted mean? I love breaking words down because as you break words down, you get greater insights around what they mean for you. I also like going back to the original meaning of words because very often this will give you an idea of the energy behind them, the intention behind them and the evolution of them. Yes, our thoughts create, our words absolutely shape. And our feelings and our emotions bring the energy to it. They combine with those thoughts. And this is one of the reasons we get to check in with the energy of what we are thinking, what we are feeling. And when we feel light in our body, when we feel that joy of life flowing through us, we very often say that we are lighthearted. What does being lighthearted mean for you? Does it mean a lack of care, a lack of uh, responsibilities? And could it mean that even when things are becoming a bit strenuous, maybe even stressful, you are able to stop and say, "What what would bring, what can bring lightness to my being right now? Maybe think of a child laughing, think of a beautiful sunny day and remember the feeling of the warmth of the sun on your back, the feeling of the breeze caressing your body, making you feel light, joyful, happy. Alternatively, you could be getting sunburn and being concerned about that. That's one of the things you would release because that will bring a heaviness of heart. Have you heard when people saying, They're heavy hearted. They feel heavy. Their heart feels heavy. This is normally a much lower vibrational energy of sorrow, of shame, of guilt, of fear. Whereas when we are light hearted, we are normally happy, joyful. We feel hopeful. We feel cared for. We feel loved. And it's when we can switch the emotions that we switch from being heavy hearted to being light hearted. And people, when we are lighthearted, this is when we attract good things to ourselves. This is when we allow clients to come in, family feuds and variables to be settled. This is when we see a path forward, a way to move in a more aligned way. And we do it with a lightness of spirit, a lightness of being that empowers us to move forward. We all have karmic energy where either our ancestors have agreed to vows, we've agreed to vows, somewhere where we are redressing a balance from past lives and where we are being asked to bring things into balance. When something is heavy hearted, go and see what the potential is, how often it happens and where you can clear it. Working with somebody like myself, I help you to see where to clear it, where it can be from. And very often you don't even uh, require looking at that. Sometimes it's best to recognize the cycle and release it more in depth. Obviously, that's something we get to work with one on one. The important thing here is to go and see what is it that creates space for you to be lighthearted and what prevents that lightheartedness? What feels that expansion of your energy that just fills and connects with nature? Where are you being held back because you are disconnected from nature and from all that nature has to offer you? Where are you disconnected from a much higher vibrational uh, consciousness? Where are you disconnecting with curiosity, creativity, your power, and rather indulging in criticism, condemnation, controllingness, and and being critical, condemning, complaining, and um, copying about things? Those C's can keep you stuck. Whereas curiosity, creating, compassion, caring, bring that lightheartedness and they bring a very different energy, an energy of expansion, an energy of a much more creative, expansive, and definitely financially rewarding, relationship rewarding, and self-worth rewarding uh, experiences. For me, 
It's to look at the word, feel into the energy of it, look at the situations you are in. Because people, we all work on electricity, we all work on energy. There's energy in the sun, there's energy in the food, there's energy in the earth. There's even energy, uh, as I'm speaking to you, that is allowing you to hear this, to see this, to work with this. And as you can understand that you can choose a light-hearted energy, and you can take the heavy-hearted energy and transmute it and transform it. You can release previous con previously agreed to contracts. You can even shift and change them. Imagine that, renegotiating your contract that might be keeping you stuck in one mindset that's keeping you stuck in a lower vibrational working order of shame, of guilt, of fear, of anger. You know what, it's actually much better to be indifferent rather than angry and then from indifference get into frustration and irritation and work your way up towards joy and enlightenment. This takes looking at what do you keep doing that upsets you, upsets others? What is the addiction to doing it? What does it give you? Because when you can see this, you are then able to recognize the addiction to the heavy heartedness and rather step into releasing it and become far more lighthearted. Because as everybody knows and everybody says, it just feels so much better to be lighthearted. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? And today, where can you take one moment to stop, to breathe, to be, and to be? light-hearted, tapping into the beautiful, incredible energy of the world around you that is of a higher vibration, a higher energy, and a higher purpose. Everything and everyone has purpose. It's how we assign it, align it, and achieve it. I would love to hear your thoughts about this. Come and find me on social media. I'm there, Janine Kathleen. And have a grand, glorious, and amazing day. Bye-bye.